good morning, good morning, uh, magandang araw, maayong buntag, salam walaikum uh, Today I want to show you the house of Untoy Enjoy! So this is the house of Untoy The house of Untoy is a row house it's around 36 square meter, 4 meter by 9 meter long. This project is only for extension, front and back extension only because there is a uh, existing uh, building already. As I said, it's already uh, it's a row house. This portion here we will extend and the back portion here we will extend we will maximize the space so i will show you the the extension that we made first from the entrance see as you can see we put a, a gate here to accommodate the uh, big bike. So, we will get inside. This, I will show you. So our our gate we are using uh, two inches by two inches metal frame. We use here metal frame and we use here a uh, tubular. I don't use hinges here because hinges because I, the gate is a little bit heavy, so I use here a uh, swivel type, and I use. Uh, tubular pipe and here also I put a caster wheel so the weight of the the gate will not go to this side only so So I put a little bit flowers downstairs <laughs> and also here at the top so there's a woman's touch we can open I suggest that we can open this door going inside we will So this is what it looks like. I will remove this first, the flower and the grill part. So you can see the... So this is what's inside of the house. Actually, there's a... A railing, the railing of the stairs. Uh, the zinc, a little bit of zinc. I suggest to put a gas range here and also a hood because of the tight space that we have here. We must possess this kind of appliances in our house. I also put here a little bit of window so the we can insert the exhaust of this uh, gas range hood or we can open this uh, window here. So, kitchen cabinet, we will turn, we will go to the back of this house. So, 
So this is what it looks like, the toilet. The toilet is around uh, 1 meter by 2 meter wide. I also put space here under the stairs, so your tools, your extra things. It's a little, uh, a little storage area. So we will unhide it all. And I will rotate this again. And the second floor, it looks like this. So we put here a sliding window and a sliding door, so we can uh, we can utilize this this area as a little veranda. Put our AC and our little flowers here. This is the master's bedroom along the. Actually, this this uh, house is have only two bedrooms. I will show you I will show you the other bedroom. Uh, just wait because my computer is a little bit slow. Yalla, faster! Need to upgrade this computer. Hey, what's wrong? So, okay. So, we will start from the roof. So, this is the tricky part of this one. During the installation of roof, we might salvage because we, we extend already in the front and in the back. The problem here is the trusses. This is, I will show you. This is the this will be the formation of the trusses. I'm using again the what's this five centi by five centi by four point five uh, thickness with one point five by one point five. Now this is the the original trusses of the house. So up to this point only. So this is the original trusses of the house. But we need to do it like this. To accommodate uh, up to the front post. And I have something at the back. Look. At the back, I know that it is already stealing another space. But we need to... Just don't mind this one. This one is around 50 centimeter, 60 at maybe 60. 50 only. 50 centimeter. We need to extend a little bit outside from our boundary. <laughs> <coughs> you 
Anyway, I will show you. I will remove the trusses. I will remove the this. I, I just show you this one. This one is not included. By the way, we need to. If we use these trusses, if you want to re the remain these trusses at ease and you want to extend only the it also possible to do that but to make the job faster because we as of now we don't know what are the sizes that the the contractor uses for for this trusses uh for that home that's why i just put a little bit going on this one happened to this one happened to my computer so we will hide I did not include in the material costing the ceiling, the ceiling and the boards that we are using on this one. So we have on the top view, we have the master's bedroom. The master's bedroom is at least 3.85 uh, long and how much is one? 2.45 wide we have a sliding door and outside is the little veranda at least one meter and the second bedroom this is also a, a tiny bedroom only around two by two because we don't have space already enough space already i already can show uh, i already use the the space What's this? Uh, I have wrong in my drawing. Uh, uh. I already consume, I already maximize the space. So, see, we don't have enough space here to extend the room. And here also, if we, the space here is <coughs> enough enough only not to hit your head on the floor on the second floor so at least we have two by two wide and our i suggest here if we, we use if you put bed the bed must be constructed inside because we once the bed is uh, put inside we cannot turn the bed in other position I suggest the bed that we are using here is a bed at the top and there's a study table on the bottom. Here also at the back we have a aluminum sliding door and a little space for washing in the second floor. Now here. I suggest that you, due to the the limited space of the house, I suggest to to purchase a washing machine that already have also a dryer, so it can you cannot uh, take more time to dry your clothes. Mm, what happened to this one? The program is continuously reading uh, faster.
So as you can see here, I also put here a round bar for hanging clothes. This is the back portion of the house of Untoy. So as you can see, the drawing shows that we consume all the available space in the house. We already extend it to the So here we can position our dining table or a, a, a sofa. So this is the inside fronting the motorcycle, the, our big bike to accommodate the bike, the bike. Of course you will not put your Harley outside in the Philippines or maybe in the other countries also. The toilet and the shower. I will I uh, unhide it all. <coughs> Excuse me, Po. So this is what the house of Untoy looks like. Our sketch for my friend's house. By the way, for those who are wondering who is Ontoy, Ontoy is an old friend of mine from the dinosaur era. So now, I already, oh, uh, I will show you also the side view of this house. Ding, 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 ding. So, this is the side view of this house. The master's bedroom, the veranda, the stairs, the toilet, the second bedroom, the wash area. That's all. You can also put here uh, your your TV or whatever you like. So this is the side view of our house and all its parts. This is the front view of our house. By the way, guys, the brick the brick style is up. It's up to the owner what he will do to his house. What is the what is planned for the finishing works for the house? But for the gate, I would like to suggest to use the composite wood plastic material so it can resist the the rain and the sun. For this gate, for this gate, and also in the main door, I suggest to purchase the the good one. Maybe the price of the main door, depending on the design and the wood that 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 uh, the material that they use for hardwoods, maybe thirty thousand up, one door only. So it's up to you what you will uh, what will what will be the material that you will use to this house, as I've said. Uh, the design I show you the road you will be the one who will go through it <laughs> good luck brother so I will hide it all now we will go to the parts and some costing of this material uh, of this house so this is our activity 
of our house. By the way, for those who didn't know what is the a row house, a row house is a house joined by a joined by a side wall. This is a sample of row house. This is a sample of the row house. See? It's just a sample. So we will go to the activity and costing. So what is our first activity? Our first activity is the excavation for footing. Footing here, here, here. I will show you. Excavation of footing. Oh my God. So the excavation of footing. Later, I will show you after what happened to my laptop. Why, why, why he worked very slow. The second activity is the installation of rebar cage. Not yet. So we will wait for a little bit longer. My while my old it's not old I, I bought this laptop three years ago go 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 so we wait So, our first activity is the excavation of footing. The second is the installation of river cage. So, materials that we use, number 16 rivers and number 10 rivers for uh, to be used as a stirrup. So, number 16 rivers, last uh, time I checked, is around 300. We need 43 pieces, that is 12,900. Plus the number ten, number ten rebar, it's around three thousand seven hundred. Plus the tire wire, I don't know how much kilo of the tire wire now. After I will send you, Otoy, after I will send you this uh, costing, you will be the one who will uh, put prices on this one, so you have projection of the your house project. All right, okay. So, our third activity is the concrete pouring. Maybe we will check if it's ready or the oh. So, this, our first activity is the excavation for footing. I will hide this one, the ground. So, the excavation for this one. So, we will install this one, the footing. Our next for that activity is the... Fabrication and installation of rebars. This one, the number 16 plus the number 10. That's what we made for the stirrups. See? See in the side view? Next is concrete pouring the we need to the work here is the in the front floor the f, the second floor front the back floor and the second floor back so the we need here cement 25 bags of cement that's around 5375 plus 2 cubic 2 cubic of sand and 2 cubic of gravel 1414 at 700 per cubic this is Mindanao price. Uh, I don't know what is in because this house located in Luzon. I don't know what is the price in Luzon, but you can change this price as soon as I send to you this Excel file. Block laying. Our fourth activity is block laying. Hollow blocks that we need to uh, hollow how the the hollow blocks that we need in this project is six hundred forty at 13 peso a piece so that is 8320 as i've said this is a mindanao price this is not a luzon price 
The next project is the Aluminum Glass and Glass Works. Aluminum and Glass Works includes front sliding window, back sliding window, back uh, a back sliding door. Next is a back sliding window, and next is kitchen sliding window. I will show you. This one, the front sliding window, the front sliding door, the back sliding window, the back sliding door. This is composed of aluminum and glass. And the kitchen sliding window. Those are the aluminum and aluminum and glass part of this house. So we need to subcontract this one to uh, aluminum and glass supplier. Again, I don't know what is the price of Luzon. And this is depending on the on the supplier. Now, number activity number six is the steel trusses. Ah, steel trusses is the steel works. The steel works included uh, steel trusses, the main door grill. This the main door grill. The main door grill, the gate frame. The frame for this one, the, the gate frame for this one. Uh, stair railing. Where is the stair railing? That one, the stairs handrail. Uh, kitchen window grill, the back window grill, the wash area grill, the fringe window grill, and the veranda railing. This is the steel work of this project. The pro this the steel work of this project. Uh, the veranda grill, the the door, the the door, front door, the main door, the rail, the what's this? The stair railing, the back grill, this grill, uh, this is small grill here. So that those are the our metal works, our steel works for this project. So next is our woodwork. Our woodwork, of course, this still still will be subcontracted also. But if you have welding machine and if you have if you have a good welder to work in this one, you can do it. Uh, you can do it on site. But if you don't have, then you hire another subcontractor to to fabricate this uh, parts of the house that I've listed. So activity number seven is the woodworks. The woodworks include the main door, the master's bedroom door, the second bedroom door, the gate French window, and the hanging cabinet. And I will include here also the storage door. storage door storage door is under the stairs so in this part we need carpenters to do this we need uh, no we need finishing carpenters or we need uh, what's this uh, cabinet maker cabinet and door maker woodworkers to do this one so this one we might also do this one we will uh, subcontract this one also for 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 price so you for for you on toy you just fill in the blanks here and you can get the total price of this one this is the estimated the approximate price not including the electrical works the plumbing works and the finishing works plus the labor works so you can fill in the blanks my friend <laughs> Once again, I will uh, mention the 11, uh, 10 activities, the excavation of footing, the installation of rebar cage, the concrete pouring, the block laying. I forgot to mention here the 
We will include in the excavation of footing the demolition of the wall, the front, the back. Uh, excavation of footing, installation of rebar cage, concrete pouring, black laying, aluminum and glass works, steel works, woodworks, electrical works, plumbing work, finishing works, and the labor cost. I don't know how much the labor of your area, maybe 40% of the material or 30% of the materials, of the total material cost. So once again, my friends, uh, and for Ontoy, this is the house of Ontoy that I made in the sketch up uh, from excavation to up to those lists that I that I up to those activities that I mentioned in my Excel. So. Prepare your beers when I go to your house. <laughs> Shukran, daghang salamat, and see you in my future vlogs. Uh, I hope you enjoy our extension project of my friend's house, the house of Ontoy. And hoping to get some pieces of ideas if your house looks like that. And also the costing. Shukran! Shukran.